Gentlemen, 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 may I have your attention, please? If you'll all be seated, I'd like to show you a motion picture we had prepared for this meeting. We have one of Hollywood's best-known actors to play for you. All right, Sam. Magazine doesn't think so. Nor look, nor pick, nor colliers, nor your biggest daily newspapers. <laughs> It'll never get off the ground. Hm, no propellers. Rockets do not employ propellers. They use jets. So do gas stoves. But they don't fly to the moon. <laughs> Obviously, you know nothing about rockets. Now, let's pretend that umbrella of yours is a shotgun. Shoot it. Who pushed me? The gun would it. The charge not only fired out of the muzzle, it kicked back with equal force against the barrel. Ah, oh, it wouldn't happen again in a hundred times. Shoot it at the ground a few times in rapid succession and see what happens. That same principle applies to rockets. It is the same shotgun kick of the explosives that throws the rocket forward. That kick, incidentally, is quite independent of the air around the rocket. It works just as well in a vacuum or in outer space, which is a vacuum. great deal easier to reach than you realize. Oh, sure, it's a cinch. Only 240,000 miles. Paved highway all the way and a gas station at every intersection. Fuel is no problem, Woody. The engines do not have to blast all the time. Just long enough to get you away from the gravitational pull of the Earth, following which you fall wherever you're headed for. Get in and I'll demonstrate. start, the jets blast powerfully enough to counteract the gravitational pull of the Earth. Once out of the Earth's atmosphere, the rocket just keeps on going, encountering no resistance to slow it up. The rocket does not appear to be traveling, but the high speed, or escape velocity as we call it, is about seven miles a second. It keeps falling in outer space in the direction in which it was started. Now, as it nears the moon, that planet's gravitational field begins to pull it toward it. Can't hear you, Woody. No air, remember. Turn on your aerial. Hey, no brakes on this thing. I'm gonna crash. How do I land? Very simple. Just reverse the takeoff. Yeah, but what about the wings? Can't use them. The moon has no air. Now he tells me. <laughs> Turn the ship around. Use the shotgun kick of the exhaust to break the speed and set her gently on her tail. So we made it. But how do we get home from this piece of cheese? Shooting a rocket from the moon to the Earth is a great deal easier than shooting from the Earth to the moon because it's downhill almost all the way. The V-2 rocket could do it today. On the return trip, we use the wings to glide in and for economy's sake, finish the landing like this. Sensational. I'm sold. I'll back it to the hill. Here's my two bucks. Well, when do we start building? 